You could have cleaned them, skinned them, cut them, and did everything else. I put them on a pit for you, but I ain't finna clean them and do all that stuff, too. Now, if Tim doesn't want to help, that's fine, because two can play at that game. OK, Michelle, don't make that cakes over here. And don't make that sweet potato pie. If Tim doesn't want to cook my ribs, then I'm not going to let Michelle do the bacon for them. Since they want to go there, don't make that stuff over here. Hold on, hold on. Michelle, wait a minute. No. Michelle going to fix it, because Michelle want her money. So she going to fix, she gonna fix she, it over there. She come over there and fix well, it. That's where she goes. Cool. I ain't cool. got no problem. It's like, y'all clean our ribs even over here. our stuff. I got a life. I'll be over there, Tim. I wish you get a man. On camera, people see the fighting, they see the arguing, but they also see the love. What is it about your relationship that seems different, even from other, even from other children, their other parents? Well, one thing, we're in business together, which is a mistake. <laughs> it's hard. So, it's hard. I'll let him talk since he. No, I mean, it's, it's being, <coughs> being in business together is very hard because, one, she's my mom and my business partner. So, whenever she gets mad, she'll, call the, she'll pull the mom card on me. Ah. So, even right or wrong, she always has the mom card right. she'll whip I'm out. your mama, so you got to do it. She whip out the mom car, man. Yeah, that makes it tough. Makes it hard. But it also makes you successful, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, you have a level of trust that most people don't have. Yeah. I mean, with the, um, you know, we have a balance of you know, old school meeting new school, and that's what's, you know, brought us to this point where we're at right now, thank God. I leave the modern aspects of the business to him. Technology, marketing, all this stuff, because he's the one that's got the show. I'm glad you mentioned that because one of the things you told me before is she thanks God for the show, right. cusses you out for it. Absolutely. <laughs> you, were, you were the reason that the show got started, yeah. right? You know, I never imagined it would go this far, you know. Um, and it just so happened it was a blessing from God. This person, you know, he just got in the hands of the right people and he just, he just grew legs and eventually got in the hands of Oprah. So that was a blessing. Hi, everybody. Another person screams. And someone else screams. Where's Miss Bobby? Holy hey. is Oprah. Hey. When Oprah showed up to the restaurant, I was so excited. My heart started beating. I could hardly believe my eyes. Now, I knew she had life class in St. Louis, but I didn't think she would have the time to come visit little old me. How important has the TV show been to the growing success of the restaurant? Oh man, the TV show has increased our business 100%. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's increased our business 100%. We have, it's opened the doors for us. To, um, we have right. a lot more things on the table. Is it ever difficult to do the day to day operation of the restaurant because of the TV show? Does that make it more challenging? Yeah, because um, normally we would be out within the restaurant doing, yeah. you know, and we were actually working in the restaurant, but now because of the TV show, we have, uh, I hate to use the word fans, but people come to see us now and we're there. You know, it's they only want to eat. Yeah, yeah, right. They yeah. just want to come see us, take pictures, right. hug. And, and we appreciate that because they, some people say, I just came to eat today, and they're going right back. I'm like, wow, this is People come to your restaurant. Just to eat from out of town and go right back. Wow. I mean, that's right there is a blessing. That must it be is. an amazing feeling. It is. It's wonderful. It is. Now, when are you going? Because I watch the show, and I suspect, I don't know this, I'm just my, my feeling, mm -hmm. but I suspect that it's going to be difficult for you to hand that restaurant over 100% at any point. You talk about passing the torch, but something tell me you always go have your hands I'm in this. I always. I told him a little lady the other day, probably about 90-something, still in her business. I'm like, that's me. I'll be there every day. Now, if I don't have to work, that's different, but it's almost impossible. I'm gonna be there. They can take over the business. I just need to be there. Sitting in the corner, little old lady saying, don't do that. Up next, our On the Record panel discusses unhealthy eating in the black community. This is really why the reason for the portion control. So then there's the 200 to 300 calories that we consume more than we did 20 to 30 years right. ago. Half of them are sugary drinks. And people aren't really familiar with when they drink sugary drinks, they don't really get full. Our World with Black Enterprise is sponsored in part by State Farm. Find an agent or get a quote at statefarm.com.